Welcome to this week's KidCast as we help our kids discover their superpowers. This week we're talking about a growing problem among young people, anxiety and depression. Statistics show one in five teenagers will experience depression before adulthood and suicide is the third leading cause of death for young people ages 15 to 24. We've talked with Dr. Anna Radovic with UPMC about what we as parents and caregivers can do to help, starting with why it's difficult for adults to detect depression. So one thing about adolescence is it's a time for teens to go off on their own and try to become independent. And part of that is wanting to talk to their friends more, uh, be without their parents. So it's a time when parents and teens are having more trouble communicating in general. Now, in addition, the symptoms are often internal, not external, that you could see. For depression, someone might look perfectly like happy, but they're doing well, but then on the inside, they might be having suicidal thoughts. Um, so it's something that parents should ask about um, and that they should take their kids to their primary care provider because that's somewhere where we do an emotional checkup. Uh, so primary care providers spend time talking to teens alone because that makes teens feel like, okay, I can talk to my doctor alone. I'm feeling more important in charge of my health. And on the other hand, they can ask some of those uncomfortable questions. Now, Dr. Radovic says it's okay to talk to teenagers about suicide and that it does not lead to anyone actually attempting suicide. In fact, her surveys in high schools found that 17% of teenagers have had suicidal thoughts. She asks all her patients about it, even if they're not clinically depressed. And she says we as parents and caregivers can help prevent depression, starting with helping teenagers get good sleep. In fact, poor sleep has been associated with suicidality. Other ways to help teens. One thing is spending time in the community with other social supports. We know they spend plenty of time on their phone, but spending some in-person time growing their strength. So what are they good at? Can they do more of that? Can that make them feel like more confident, like they're contributing to society? Getting them out there to volunteer or things like that can be really helpful. Um, and then having really open communication with your parent and then good nutrition and exercise, those are all good things that could contribute. Dr. Radovic says it's important that teens have supportive adults to talk to. Now, your child's primary care doctor is the best place to start if you're concerned about your child. Dr. Radovic also has a website for teens and parents to use to talk about depression. And we have that link and a link to the Allegheny Family Network that can help you navigate the mental health system. For those links, go to kdka.com slash kidsburg. I'm Christine Sorensen, helping make Pittsburgh, Kidsburgh.